Jesus. If you fell and did not die, I'll tell you right now, I'd lie. I lie too. <laughs> okay. So so it is a funny one. People can fall down and go boom. Yeah. I was looking, I'm like, shit, I don't want to fall. <laughs> well, I would have pulled back out there and let you walk down the cement if you really wanted to. Nah. I would have walked all the way around. I wouldn't have cared. This is a fun little street, ain't it? It's people are crazy on the street. Yeah, I'm saying. They'll stop. One way or another, they will stop. Went into my car, they'll still stop. They won't like it, but they'll stop. I won't like it. I can play hurt. <laughs> money. People are just way too hurried to go nowhere anymore. here and all the ubers ran home because they got scared oh i was having a ball oh, <laughs> i mean if you're the only one on the road you know yeah if you're the only one on the road until that unsuspecting cop comes <laughs> seen that happen too many times people driving down really fast and because of you looking like why are they driving so right down fast i know they're the only one on the road but still and all of a sudden vroom, vroom, I'm like, oh shit <laughs> yeah I'm like slow down <laughs> but it's just like if you pay attention like the interstates mm -hmm. where all the wrecks are it's where the on and off ramps are yeah that is true because you will if you're maintaining your speed it doesn't matter what the road is oh, never thought of it that way. as soon as you either punch that gas pedal down or hit that brake pedal down it causes the vehicle to slide I live in the country. We know that. <laughs> because if you're driving down the road and everyone's doing 55, mm -hmm. equally spaced, it won't be a wreck. There's no reason nobody's sliding. Everyone's just going. Right. But that one person that a mile ahead of everybody is doing 45, mm -hmm. well, now that whole line that's doing 55 all got to hit the brakes. Because <laughs> what will happen, it won't be the first one. The first one will see the car go, oh, I gotta slow down. Right. It'll be the third one that's not paying attention. He'll have to hit his brakes really fast. He goes like this, and then everything. <laughs> see. I understand now. Just like a little country trick during an ice storm when you're driving tires on that side off the road because you're in that gravel when you tap the brakes ice don't affect those tires you don't slide <laughs> somebody over to Tremont. Uh -huh. You couldn't see, because it's snowing and everything. I'm doing 55, but the guy's just like, how are you able to drive? It's like, well, it's real easy. I'm staying in the middle of the white thing. That's the road. So I never thought of that. Like, yeah. I could see where the grass, because grass is the ditch and everything. Yeah. I'm going down the road. I'm good to go. There ain't another soul out here. He's like, I never thought of that. Yeah. <laughs> You're the only one on the road. All you gotta do is just keep straight line. Yeah. As soon as it got to something I didn't know, or there was a lot of curves, oh, we'd slow down. And he, he, he was just like, I've never realized you can actually do that. Yeah. <laughs> I never realized it either. I was just like, you do not really have to go slow. You just gotta be able to control your vehicle. 
because I came in here and picked somebody up. And we were up on University. Mm -hmm. Warren University there. I stopped a block before the intersection blew right through it. Wow. Because they didn't plow and it was slick. Just went, <laughs> and the guys are like, wow, this is weird. You're doing two mile an hour, but you can't stop. Nope. <laughs> We got close enough, I didn't see any cars. Like, I'm gonna just drive through and they're like, please do. And we drove through, no problem whatsoever. It, it's just, intersections are horrible. Yeah, even in dry weather, there's still a lot of accidents. Just yeah. Sometimes. But with it slick, this is where everyone puts brakes on or where they all take off from. And that causes a vehicle to slide. Just get it. You don't see in the middle of a road to begin to interact. Right. They do that, that's because something came out from them or they were doing this. Right. <laughs> oh, I hate this. I didn't see that one. And I knew they were on here. I hate those, I hate those bombs. I hate them. That's the going. I know there's one up here. Oh yeah, please do it more when I'm not paying attention. <laughs> <laughs> you can say, hey! <laughs> I'm really easy to get along with. That is my biggest problem with this now. Uh, yeah, right now. Trying to watch this way and this. Really bites. From here, I think all you gotta do is just kind of keep straight. Yeah, it looks like I'm going all the way pretty close to the bridge, is it? Yeah. barricades up around the walls and stuff. Mm -hmm. You need to go clean one of them. Alright. So I'd be over there standing there just rubbing a dry towel. He says, hey, what? You don't know how to clean that? No, it's not in my job description. Never been thoroughly trained. But I'll try my hardest, boss. Big wig came down. He's like, why are you doing this? I go, I don't know. But if you are more than willing to pay me 27 an hour here to make this dirtier, I'm doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> it it he, he tried to think it would belittle me, I guess, make me feel bad. I'm like, You're paying me twenty seven an hour, man. I'll shine your shoes for twenty seven an hour. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's true. <laughs> you are not gonna put me in a bad mood because you're paying me. I'm not one of the privileged ones. It's like, well, that's beneath me. I ain't gonna. Yeah, well. Won't do it well because 
can't do nothing to me. Because <laughs> the contract says I haven't been trained, so I can't get disciplined if I can't do it right. So I'll come make it kind of look like it's being done because I know someone like you is going to come do it. I don't want to take your job away. <laughs> do me a favor and just do it. <laughs> Do, well, yeah, but see, if they have us do too much of it, you don't end up having a job. Uh, <laughs> and I'm all about making sure everyone gets paid. <laughs> well, see, why does everybody get mad at us for, like... You're not union. That's all it is. That's not our fault. No, it isn't. It's all of this. You, you have non-union, you have union, and you have management. And they all three fight all three. <laughs> Management's whole purpose there is to get rid of union people. And they're crappy at managing. But, <laughs> if you did away with the union, management would have to leave too because they don't know how to manage. They don't really know how to sneak around and try to get rid of that. <laughs> I mean, it, it's funny when you look at it. It's pathetic. Because they got to spend so much extra money padding everybody to actually doing what we would do in real life. I mean, but, like, not taking jobs away from Catholic, not taking jobs away from you, you guys. You guys don't want to scrub toilets. These guys don't even want to take out their own trash. No, they don't. So why get why look down on somebody that's actually doing you a favor? Because they believe you want to go this direct. As I said, I've been here. But it, it just it's the way they are. They believe I'm better than you. Da -de -da -de -da -de -da. And then like <laughs> I'll clean their office and they'll the next day they'll dirty it. I'm thinking to myself, why would you guys do that? Because you know damn well my supervisor is here to check it. Oh yeah. And then she'll go to check it. You didn't clean this office. I'm like, yeah, I did. And why is it dirty? Because they dirty it. <laughs> it's what they do. It's literally what they do. Yes, it if is. You didn't do a good job. The floor will still be white, even if they dirty it. Like, no. You don't understand. They dirtied it. Like, I got done cleaning her floor at one time, and not even 15 minutes later, there was coffee spills on the floor and all that other stuff. Yeah. I'm like, y'all can't even... Well, we're, we're sorry. Like, dude. No, please, they're not. Please, do me a favor. But, like, all the people that I clean for, they love the hell out of me. And I'm like, I do not understand why. <laughs> they are happy to see my ass. I'm like, I'm glad that you guys are happy. Just tell my boss that you guys are happy. But Unless it, she leave me alone. It, it's what they do. It really is. There is. And the funny thing about it, you're probably better off than they are. Because most of the people that work for Cat, after they've been there six months or so, they overspend. They're in debt so far, they got to have 20 hours overtime every week. <laughs> and I always used to like that, like, really? <laughs> I actually just started this one. This one. I just saying down there again. Which gate? That gate or? The gate straight down. Yeah, so far ones. I actually um, am purchasing a house. So I'll probably be in debt to my ear. But I work two jobs. Yeah. So I make. just over and if you look at the parking lot it just blows your mind how much money they they blow it's crazy I just <laughs> but like, it gives you something to do like you guys make probably six dollars more than me or whatever <laughs> it takes like one job to, to for you and two jobs for me but like you guys have like thirty thousand dollar cars and stuff i'm like i don't want all that have a good time. I will.